Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I take you guys along with me as I take my hamster Luddu to his first ever vet visit. Before we get into the video, make sure to click the like button and make sure you're subscribed and ring the bell to receive notifications whenever I post a new video. So I have his carrier here. It's empty because I took his previous bedding out. It's a little dusty in here, so I'm gonna use his cage cleaner to just clean the inside of this, get all nice for him. And instead of adding new bedding into this because it's already stressful for him, I'm gonna take excess bedding from his enclosure and put it into here. Okay, so it's not like spotless, but that's not what I was going for. I just wanted to give it a little clean before filling it up again. So as you can see, there isn't that much in here, but I don't really want to take any more away from his enclosure because I don't want the bedding level to get too low. So I'm going to mix in some brand new bedding. Hopefully it's not too scary for him because this bedding still has a scent on it. For the new bedding, I'm going to use some of his old KT Clean and Cozy bedding, but I'm also going to use some of this Carefresh Blue bedding. I got blue because I've been really interested in making a themed cage for lead do. I'm curious how you guys store your bedding. I've just been keeping this brand new bedding inside of the original packaging for now. If anyone knows of another way to store it so it's just easier to access and doesn't take up as much space then leave a comment down below. But I think this is the same bedding that was in lead do's. I don't really want to call it an enclosure. It's like a holding cell when he was at PetSmart. Yeah it's the exact same color and the texture is like almost the same as well. It's very very rough. Oh no. I don't know if you can hear it, but like the texture isn't like too smooth. So I don't really recommend this bedding for entire enclosures. I recommend just mixing it in with another bedding that's much softer. Also, if you're interested in seeing how I organized all of Ludu's supplies, let me know. I could show that as well in the future. I'm going to pack it down a little bit because I've noticed Ludu does try to make bros while he's in here. It's all packed in there. And now I'm gonna add some things for him to do while he's in here, just to prevent him from getting more stressed. I bought these oat sprays from PetSmart. They're marketed for birds, but they're perfectly safe for hamsters. Now Ludu does go crazy for these. He loves the oat sprays so much. So I'm only gonna put like two small ones in there. I have this little toy from the original video of getting led to and some sticks and I'm just gonna put them in there for enrichment. I'm also gonna make just a tiny starter hole for him to make a burrow. I found that he doesn't really dig them on his own too much unless there's a place for him to start them. I have half of a whimsy for him, another little toy, 
and I just used a toilet paper roll. I cut it a little bit. Just cutting the bottom ensures there's no way for them to get stuck. Lastly, I'm gonna put some food for him in here. This will just keep him busy so he has something to interact with other than all of this stuff because I can only give one entire star a week. This way I can give him a piece basically every day. For this vet visit, I'm gonna give him two of the points of the Gerber puff and one worm. I like giving him the peas because he does still accidentally bite me when there's food involved. So these are kind of easier to hold when I'm giving it to him. Oh, one second, you're already done? Well, you're a fast eater. Thank you, you're so clean. So I don't break them up that much, just so it's a little easier and more interesting for him. And that's gonna be it for his carrier. I'm not gonna put him in it right now because he's just gonna start gathering all the food I scattered. <laughs> Hi, baby. Hello. It's time to go to the vet. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so it's the next day and it's time for Ludgie's vet visit. So I'm gonna grab him to put him in his carrier. Hi, you're so sweet. Thank you. Come on. Good job. Let's go. There's a burrow down there for you. Yeah. just finished up his vet visit. <laughs> it was really funny because you know how I like put all the food all over the carrier? He had collected it all up by the time I got there. While they were trimming his nails, he took it all out of his cheek pouches and he just made the best there, but they were so nice. They didn't even say anything rude. They were like, oh, it's okay. And they were all like so nice. This is a really good experience with exotic vets because I know some people, they say they're exotic vets but they don't have too much experience. So I was really happy with the vet I got today. They did check his weight and they said he's about 50 grams, 50 grams, or ounces, probably grams. <laughs> And she said that was healthy, that's good for him. She wasn't 100% sure because he is still a little young, but she said he's most likely a boy. That's good because I've been calling him a boy for so long. And the overall experience was just great. I was really happy with today. I'm not gonna waste any more time. I'm just gonna head straight home so I can put him back into his enclosure because I know this is pretty stressful for him. Why don't I just take him to somewhere he feels safe? You can just see the bedding moving. Let's go home, baby Ladu. We made it back home and now I'm going to use his mealworms or puffs to lure him out so I can easily and quickly transfer him to his enclosure and I'm going to give him one because he did so good while he was there. Little baby burrito. <laughs> Here you go baby. Whee! And as a reward, get this.
Hey guys, thank you for sticking till the end of the video. I'm really happy with how Ludwig behaved and how his whole vet visit went. And I'm just glad that everything is looking good for him. If you liked the video, then make sure to press the like button down below. And make sure you subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. That's gonna be all, and I'll see you guys in the next one.